my phone literally ran out of space, so um, it stopped me right when I was talking about um, two things non-right dividers tend to abuse folks on um, and shame them over. Um, one of them would be um, distorting what God is doing today. So, um, healing, for example. So, um, I, I've, I have a, like I said before, I have an injury from when I was hit by a truck. Um, if you don't rightly divide, um, you might get frustrated with verses like, well, by his stripes were healed. And if you don't read the whole Bible and take things in context, like, or realize, like, at the end of Paul's ministry, um, he left people sick. Um, like, why did he do that? And that's something um, I'll read and go over a little bit. Um, the third study, there'll be three. Um, this, this is the end of the second because I um, I'm eating some late at night. Um, <laughs> my phone, my phone um, stopped recording. Um, but so this is continuing that. But um, yeah, if if I go to a church where people aren't really edified and or they're young, a lot of times they're just young and they don't. They have an experience that God doesn't just a lot of the time heal 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 you. Like I mean, God God put natural things in your body to you know, you get healed from I mean it's a miracle. You get a scratch on your hand, I get a cat scratch and then you know I'm healed like two days later. A lot of things are really miraculous the way the body works. It it just is. But some things God doesn't heal like that and so you're left with an infirmity even even in the old testament we can talk about how infirmities aren't necessarily a sign of um god has to fix this right away it's not it's not like um like jacob okay <laughs> we'll we'll talk about how he, he wrestled with God and God gave him an infirmity and that infirmity stuck with him. So even if you're not set yet on obeying 2 Timothy 2.15, um, if, you, if you just read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and you think that you're good and you haven't read the whole Bible and you don't know right division... Your whole thing might be, well, we're going to go around healing people. Uh, and it's shallow because you should really be getting into deep friendships first. You're not Superman. Jesus didn't save you so that you could go around healing people. Jesus saved you so you would go to heaven and you need to explore friendships, deep connections with others and do what is naturally, you're naturally inspired to do. Um, I've, <laughs> with non, non-right dividers, I've been surrounded by younger people it's usually younger people and they'll pray over and it's kind of sweet they'll pray over my shoulder and my back sometimes but I'm like I can tell when it's like they're not interested on building the friendship they're just interested on did God heal you and you're just like um (laughs) no (laughs) No, that's not exactly how he's working today. It's not just a ministry of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You have to realize deeper things than that. So, um, and I've even been told years ago, like, we think you're not healed because there's 
sin in your life, you know, and then the shaming, the shaming starts. So it's, it, it can start as a shallow thing where the young, it's usually youngsters that, that haven't experienced chronic pain yet, that got, you know, they've, they haven't experienced chronic pain and you, and if you have, you know, you've prayed like dozens of times for God's healing. You just can't help it. And you're like, well, it's not, he's giving me a Bible verse instead to realize that his strength is made perfect in weakness, you know? Um, so it's usually young kids that haven't gone through that and haven't rested on the Lord in them for, for what actually is going on. Um, in their lives, and they're just, they're hoping that, a lot of times they're hoping that the reality in front of their face, which is you, when chronic pain, will not happen to them. And so you might get persecuted just because they're afraid of, they don't want, they don't want to go through that. <laughs> you know? It's just, it's, it's true, and then until they get to be your age, they're not going to get it. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, so, like, healing, uh, miracles, um, they'll take things out of context, and if you don't have the same things coming out of your mouth that they have about those things, they, they get uncomfortable, because <laughs> you're like, no, life's actually harder than, than you might think. Um, get deeper, have friends that are deep. Um, and then a second thing, um, what needs to be done? So if, if, if you're, if you're set on the only thing for salvation is the cross <laughs> and we're to rightly divide and what Paul said is to us and other places that contradict what Paul said, that's not to us. You understand it's to Israel. You understand the two pictures, at least two pictures of faith. There's, there's, I'll get into, um, <laughs> other examples of faith plus works that, that are with Israel rather than just the sacrificing of, of Abraham's son, um, his willingness to sacrifice his son. I should say he didn't actually sacrifice his son. But his going up to sacrifice his son. If you're set on that that in this dispensation it's not. Oops. I'm trying to set this up here. But it's not faith plus works. It's just faith. Um, but you encounter a Christian. They, they're a new believer. Maybe they've been saved one year, two years. Maybe three. It's still You're still a pretty new believer. Before five years, okay. I've been saved for almost 15 years. I'm not a new believer. I'm an elder to some of my some of my young younger friends. But if you encounter <laughs> a young believer, um, a new believer, um, they want to do it right. They want to get it right. Everybody wants to get it right. And they don't, you know, what needs to be done after you're saved? Well, <laughs> you know, works can creepily come in to to play. They might say, oh, yes, we're saved by the cross. And then they're going to have, like, but uh, we also do these things because they're good, too. And if you're not doing them, you're bad. <laughs> okay, so, so the shaming comes in with. They don't know how to to take two verses. And I'm going to get into just next time, just verses on forgiveness. Because that's, that's a big one that Satan gets in the church. And he tries to shame people into living a shallow, a shallow existence around forgiveness if you don't understand right division and you don't take your memories and appropriately deal with them <laughs> and you're worried about obeying um, verses out of context 
you're not going to be real with yourself and you're not going to be real with others and you're going to develop a sort of kind of chanting oh my cat's helping over a gate cat you're not supposed to be in here <laughs> you're going to develop a sort of chanting christianity which is creepy um trying and chanting and shaming others that don't do that um that doesn't that doesn't work. Your prayers might be like, dear God, please, please, we pray this. And the, and it'll be like, like worried instead of just like casually, um, mindfully doing things. It, it's, um, it's cult-like. If, if you do not rightly divide, eventually, and, and you become stuck on other doctrines instead it will become cult-like in in certain ways and and you'll start shunning people out of your life that god god said that we're we're not to have divisions we're to have unity of the spirit um but if you become cult-like you will have divisions you won't be interested in unity of the spirit um so, um, that kind of a thing I experienced at a friend of mine's Bible study. And, and like I, I mentioned, a man's name, Roman, he, he kicked me out. He's younger than me. He's a kid in, in the Lord. He kicked me out of his in-home group because of, I rightly divide and he doesn't. That's, that's why. And I'll get to the core of our argument in in the third <laughs> the third um, video. Um, but one thing that he did do, <laughs> he met with me outside of the group um, at Applebee's, and you know what? I'll see this <laughs> the next time. Because I want to, I want to include a friend that was there. So it was me, another friend, and him. And um, the confusion that was clear in him about um, whether or not you have to endure to the end to be saved. Because, and this man, he's saved. He knows the gospel, but then if he's asked a question like, do you have to endure to the end, what came out of his mouth? If he, he doesn't rightly divide, so <laughs> what, what can you say? Because Jesus said that you had to endure to the end to be saved when he's walking around. He said that. Okay, we'll go over that verse next time, and I'll say with my friend exactly what was said. Okay. You don't want to be confused about something like that. Like I said last time, I have to get my cat kitties. <laughs> if you are going and, and preaching to people, you don't want to just say what you feel in the moment. You want to be studied out. You want to know. You want to have the answers for sure. You don't want to say, well, maybe, I don't know, like... There, if you really don't know something, that's okay. And it's okay to say, hey, I'm young. I'm a kid. I've only been saved two years. whatever. However long you've been saved. It doesn't seem like he's been saved very long at all. He's in his mid-20s. So anyway, I have at least, I don't know, <laughs> like 15 years or so on him. But um, admit to where you're at. Don't, don't try to pretend like you know more than you do because you're going to hurt people you're going to hurt elders he definitely hurt me and I'll get into what happened in um in the third the third uh section of why I believe in in right division um but basically you want to stay out of workspace self-righteousness okay don't do it. If you have Christ, you need to be able to, like I said, have these close, deep friendships. That's what you need to build. Okay? Don't be focused on signs and wonders and stuff. And we can talk about how Jesus even said, like, that kind of stuff is 
it can be shallow. It can be shallow. If that's what your focus is, he's like, yeah, I'm not going to do these miracles for you. I'm not going to do this. When he when he did the loaves and the fishes, we'll read what he said after, after that. People were like, yeah, we want you to be our king. For loaves and fishes, come on. You, you need to have deep relationships with people. You don't want workspace self-righteousness. You don't want to start counting. I, I baptized this many people. We saw this many healings. You start like, we did 30. We did 40. You don't want to do that. That's BS. It's BS. It's such BS. What, what about the blanket you crocheted for your friend? What about the pie you made for someone? What about the hug you remember from yesterday? Come on, people. <laughs> You need to have your identity. Oh, my cat's getting into chocolate. Not in your cat. Kitty. What? You're supposed to be in that room. Okay. <laughs> your identity in the new man. Okay. <laughs> I did not know she was getting into my chocolates. <laughs> anyway. Um... That was Sarah. She causes trouble sometimes. I don't want to talk about what she does. It's the worst. <laughs> uh, she makes me wash stuff. I'll just say that. Anyway, you want to have your identity in the new man. Okay. You don't want to have your identity in works-based self-righteousness. And you want to know you're complete in Christ. That he's in you. Um, all things work for your good. Um, you, you, is, is it faith to misapply verses? No, that's, it's, it's, it's not faith. It's like anti-faith. You don't want to misapply verses. Um, and you want to feel things out. If things feel like they have a bad spirit, if things feel off, you need to work it out because, <laughs> Um, you need to have comfort versus fear. And the Bible says perfect love casts out fear. And I'm going to end it there. Okay. Because my phone is about to run out of storage again. I deleted one video and it's still like battery or battery's low. It said um, that my storage was low. Um, so I'm going to end it now. And then I'm going to start with a couple things I wrote um, for section three and I need to go to bed <laughs> so yeah section three to be continued oh my gosh you see there's the cat that's the cat what that's the trouble cat <laughs>